different but kind of the same because snowboarding ugh. I am a beginner snowboarder the last time I went snowboarding was probably like eight plus years ago so last time I went snowboarding I just rented everything I rented my board I rented my boots I rented all my gear and I kind of just wore what I thought was warm and no one really like gave me tips and it's freezing I just didn't have the right gear on so this time I am NOT going to fall victim to the cold so I got like boots I got goggles I got a helmet I, I am trying to be you know somewhat fashionable on the mountain I really wanted a jacket with a big like furry hoodie and you can see the hoodie is so so furry here this brand I got from Dick's Sporting Goods and this is the alpine design brand i've never heard of it um i got mine in a medium typically i'd wear a small but i know that i'm going to be wearing like 10 sweaters underneath so i love this and i love this hood right here by the way guys if you are planning on going snowboarding and you're a beginner and um people don't tell you this i mean i guess it's self-explanatory but sometimes you know we don't think about things everything needs to be waterproof because if it is not waterproof the snow is going to get in when you fall you know it's just going to get wet and you are going to freeze so everything needs to be waterproof so obviously this jacket is waterproof i also have a pair of snow pants these i didn't um purchase at this haul but i thought i should show it to you guys anyway because if you are going snowboarding you for sure 100 percent need a pair of snow pants i just had these already these i remember getting them years and years ago at dick's sporting goods as well this is ski gear i got this in a large youth it felt like these fit me a little bit better and obviously i'm going to be wearing like fleece leggings underneath I'm definitely going to be wearing like two or three pairs of socks but it's so important to be warm because when you're on that mountain and you're cold you're just going to have such a miserable time so these are the pants i like these pants because they are like high-waisted they hit me at a good place right at the belly button and they're nice and big so i can fit multiple layers of pants underneath and it fits me perfectly lengthwise as well and the great thing about these pants is that they are multi-layered so if you look this is the bottom of the pant it does have an inside layer this piece goes inside of your snow boot and this goes over your boot so when snow gets inside it doesn't go into your skin like it just goes into the pant and you can just kind of shake it off since we're talking about the boots i'm going to go into the boots right now i honestly was thinking of just renting boots and i bought these on a whim like two days ago off of amazon prime i really didn't want to rent and i don't know i have a weird thing about like renting shoes so i decided to buy these these are the 32 brand W's Shifty Boa. Um, I got it in a six and a half and I got it in black because I wanted just plain all black boots. I heard when you're buying snow boots, you just buy it the size of your feet because apparently as you wear them, they start to expand and um, I don't know. They told me to buy it size of my feet. Yeah, so let's see. Ooh, these look really really cool they're just an all black matte black which i love and then it has just orange detailing with the string here it has this thing which i really like um this thing you can adjust your boot so you just kind of turn it to make it tighter so it's not like the laces because the laces are like get kind of hard to tie especially if you're trying to adjust them on the mountain and your fingers are freezing it's really tough so just having this thing to turn to adjust your boot is really nice and this is just how it looks like on the bottom so let's try these on i probably should get a pair of socks okay so let's put on some socks obviously i will be having a few pairs of socks on i don't know two or three layers um, and I'm going to be wearing long wool socks because I don't want to be cold again. 
So, have these on. I'm gonna pull on this string, I guess. And let's see how tight we can get this. Man, that's really cool. They feel good. Oh. Oh, let's put on the other ones. These look so cool. I really love these. I don't know how they're gonna wear, but they look very aesthetically pleasing. So I am super excited about these. This thingy that you turn, you pull it out and then it pulls out and it comes right off. That's pretty cool. The next thing that I bought was the thing that I was <laughs> most excited about, which are my goggles. So I got these goggles off of Amazon. <laughs> Guys, you are going to freak. Oh my goodness. So it comes with like this pink strap. The lens is a mirrored lens. Can you see my setup that I have my camera on top of a box? <laughs> it comes with a really, really beautiful like shiny pink case and it also comes with like a goggle pouch right here so that's pretty awesome and it also comes with like a lens cleaner to clean your lenses i just really want to look cool on top of the mountain with like my jacket and my goggles but guys I needed a helmet. So I was really against the helmet because I was just like, nah, I don't really wanna wear a helmet. I'm, I don't know how I'm gonna look. I might look stupid. But my boyfriend was like, you might look stupid, but you might fall on your head and then you won't crack your head open. And I was like, you know what? Let me get a helmet. That's a good idea. This is the helmet I got. I got this. Oh, I also got this from Dick's Sporting Goods. So everything that I purchased today so far was from either Dick Sporting Goods or Amazon. And so I just got the regular Smith helmet. This is just the all black matte one. I figured I'd just have all black boots, all black helmet, all black pants, and everything else I can just accessorize. And I got this in a size small. They said that the rule with the helmet is that when you put it on your head, as you have to like kind of shake it around. You put it on your head. You just have to kind of like shake it around and see if it moves. And if it moves, then it means that it's too big. I tried on the medium ones and the medium ones looked way too big, like felt really big. So I ended up getting the small. And then I'm supposed to put my goggles on. Do I look professional? I think I'm gonna wear my hair in pigtails that day. I'm sorry if I'm screaming, I can't really hear that well. And I guess I have to put this like that. Or maybe I'll just wear my, I'll probably just wear my jacket down and my pigtails out. So, woo! Fab you luck. I'm snowboarding, guys. Okay. I personally think that investing in a good pair of gloves, especially for snowboarding, is really, really vital because your fingers and your toes get so, so cold. At least I know with my personal experience and it just ruins your day. So I bought these gloves. These are the Isotoner gloves. Isotoner. And these gloves are waterproof. I bought it in a small. On the inside, it's fleece lining and it also is um what is that called like touch sensitive so you can touch your phone screen with these gloves which i absolutely love and on the outside it is completely waterproof i love that this glove cinches right here at the wrist so i can for example tuck in my shirt and put the jacket over it and then the snow won't get into my 
hands and it'll keep my hands nice and dry. So I absolutely love these and they have a hook right here to hook it together and you can just separate it like that. I really, really love these gloves. They even feel warm already. So thank goodness because I hate being cold. I am really, really, really excited to go snowboarding just because I haven't gone in a while and I feel like this time I'm a lot more prepared. As far as a snowboard, I didn't want to go and buy a snowboard because again, I'm not sure if it's something that I want to do that often where it validates me buying a snowboard for myself. So I'm just going to rent a snowboard over there. I'm definitely going to vlog this trip, so I'm going to take you guys along with me. If I can find all the products, I will link them down below just in case you're interested or you're going snowboarding soon or if you want to go snowboarding or if you want to plan a snowboarding trip. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And if you like, please leave a wonderful, fabulous, beautiful comment down below. And I will always get back to you as soon as I can. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.